All right, uh, we haven't given an update in a few days. Just thought uh, we'd check in. There's not a lot going on. We, c we remain uh, contained. 1308, we keep talking about, <clears throat> and if you look at a two-week chart, which I've only got about a week up here, 1308 is where we are right now. We're trading 1308 with an hour and 40 minutes to go in the day. 1130 here on the best coast. And again, you can see by the profile that today we uh, we opened up higher. Uh, matter of fact, we hit a, a you know, a high up here at 317.50 pre-market. And then we uh, drove all the way down here. Our pivot today, uh, right around uh, 13.05. And the uh, point of control has been moving down and now it's starting to bounce a little bit because actually uh, at one point it had confluence right here. Got down to that 13.02 and that was uh, an area of support that really had a kind of a triple distribution action yesterday. One in this range, one in here, and one in here. It was kind of a weird profile. And then the Friday action uh, left over, uh, again, kind of came into that and, and, and cruised up and kind of mopped up some of those uh, uh, one time frames up in here at 1317. And again, I thought as long as we didn't close over 1319, you're still bearish. So here we are at 1309, let's call it 1308 and a half uh, with still, uh, again, about an hour and a half to go. So I'd be watching this 1319 level. Right now the bears, there's a lot of uh, resistance. Uh, 1312, 1317 uh, to 19 in that area. Uh, you got to be watching that. But again, this 1302 is pretty solid in here now that we've uh, had this one distribution yesterday, one below it that we didn't even need to test today, and uh, we are uh, bouncing a little bit in here. So we could whoosh up to this 1312, 1314 area, but the value area we're kind of stuck in that today, 1309.50 to uh, 1303.50. So. Right in the top end of that range, watch that area. If we break out of 1309, we could get up to 1314. Uh, but again, I'd be watching this uh, market. Any closes over 1319 on the short term, you want to uh, get back to the long side. But right now, the bears, uh, after this whoosh down from 1329, you can see again, we went from 1329 all the way down to 1296, uh, uh, which is 33 points. That's not, uh, that is substantial, rather. So keep that in mind that this bounce was pretty technical, almost 50% on the button. Uh, we had 33 points down and we just bounced 21. So if you drew a fib from that low uh, here, uh, you're probably looking right at around uh, a 61.8. So if we went from this 29 down here. And again, you can see pretty technical. We went right up to 16.75, just kicked over it, took out all the stops, which is typical in a market uh, that's run by market makers. And right now we really are. So Watch this in here again. I I think uh, we've got more work to the downside. Maybe 1270, 1280. You, you have different levels. 1296 was the first one. Then we have 8672, all the way down to uh, 1253, the opening for the year. So we're going to close the month. Looks like up uh, somewhere around 55 points if we close right here at 1308. It's a great market for uh, the buy and holders. Uh, they'll come out and pump it up. That. Uh, you know, markets were up four and a half, five percent, depending on where we close. So that's a celebration. Usually, as January goes, so goes the market. Is the same. So keep trading. That's all uh, I can really uh, <laughs> control is risk, and, re and and the reward will take care of itself. So right now, short up to any uh, close that is not above 13.19, and uh, that looks like the the play to us. And uh, we'll see you on the other side. Have a great day, and uh, be careful out there. Enjoy the uh, beautiful. Uh, winter out in the Northwest.